Not only are mutations so common that it might be impossible to find a site in the genome which is identical in all humans who are conceived, it might be impossible to find an aspect of human anatomy and physiology which is identical in all humans who are conceived. For example, human skeletons differ. Not only does the shape of bones vary, producing variations ranging from skull shape to limb proportions, humans can vary in the number of bones they possess. Some humans possess additional sutural bones of the skull, an extra pair of ribs, additional sacral or coccygeal vertebrae, cervical ribs, vertebral components which fail to fuse, persistence of developmental sutures, extra digits, extra carpals, fused carpals, extra phalanges, reduction or loss of the bones of the digits, the fusion of forearm bones, the absence of a patella, and the development of paddle-like structures attached to the girdles. Not all humans have the same muscles, or the same anatomy of the muscles. Muscles can vary in their size, shape, and attachment points. A specific muscle may be absent or exist in a duplicated form. The heart may vary in its position, the anatomy of the septa between chambers, the number and position of vessels which leave it, the persistence of fetal structures, and the structure of valves. While some people lack typical blood vessels, others possess duplications of typical blood vessels or vary in the branching pattern and the destinations of blood vessels. Variations in the migration or fusion of endocrine tissues lead to variations in gland structures and positions. Digestive variations include accessory pancreatic tissue, duplicated portions of the intestines, persistence of the cloaca or variation in its division, and variant shapes of specific organs. The genome guides the development of the human form from a single cell to our adult form. As mutations continue to modify the human genome, variations in the human form will continue to arise. Kidneys can vary in their position, the number of blood vessels and ureters which exit them, and their fusion. The genome guides the development of the human form from a single cell to our adult form. As mutations continue to modify the human genome, variations in the human form will continue to arise.